Hi everyone, welcome to You and Me Invitations, the wedding stationery shop and blog. Today we're going to learn how to make origami cranes. Um, these can be a great way to decorate your wedding and to add a personal touch to your big day. Um, so Leah here is going to show us how to make them. And as with all our videos, the start of the video is going to be an instruction on how to make what we're making. And then the second half is going to be me trying to follow the instructions just to make sure they all make sense and see where you might slip up. Um, so without further ado, Leah, how do we make you know origami cranes? <laughs> Hello. Okay, so you need origami paper. Um, you can get this online or craft shops, stationery shops, Brilliant. many, well, many places. Okay, perfect. Okay, so have the colour side underneath and we're going to fold in half diagonally. Kind of making it into a nice triangle. Exactly. Perfect. I'm being very, very um, rigid on the fold as exactly. well to get a good yeah. line. Make them well folded, yeah. Okay. And then fold in half again down the middle to make an even smaller triangle. Do you need tiny triangles? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you have a smaller triangle. Yeah. <laughs> now we have to open up. So put your finger inside one of one side of the triangle. It's kind of like making a pocket. Yeah. And then we have to fold to make a diamond. Okay, so we're kind of flattening that pocket. Exactly. Edge. Okay. Yes. And then kind of trying to keep all of the lines matching then as well. So this, it's now follow, following along these yeah, lines. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. So now we have to do the same with the other triangle. Okay. So we turn it over. I'm just going to pull this the other way as well, just to, because it helps. Yeah, just giving yourself as, as strong a line as possible. Yeah. So now we open up this triangle to make it a diamond as well, keeping everything in line. You're so good at this, Leah. You've made loads of these though, haven't you? I have. Uh, yes, I love doing origami. Okay, so now we have a diamond. Okay. So have the, the open section towards you. Can I just ask what you mean by the open section? So you have all these folds on this side, like that. And then you have all the ah, open bits. So okay. You can see the white on the inside. Okay. So have the open bits towards, towards you. you. So you can fold them. Exactly. Aha, I get you. And you need to fold this corner into the center. Okay. Very good. So it looks like that. Okay. And then do the same with the other side. Okay. Hopefully. I have a sneaking suspicion we're going to have to turn this over and do it on the other side too. Exactly. <laughs> yes. It's exactly the same on all sides okay. for most folds. So like I said, turn it yeah. over and this corner goes into the middle. Okay. And you know the middle because obviously you folded these lines so yeah. you can see the lines this really well. That's why they're so important because they're guides as you go along. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Looks kind of like a hat. Yeah. Or a kite even. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a kite. Oh, a kite. <laughs> so it looks kind of like this. Yeah. So just to help you, it, you see this, uh, the smaller triangle at the top. I fold that just at the line where it meets the, the bigger triangles. Just okay. like that. And then fold it again the other way. This just makes the next part easier. Okay. So now we open up these smaller triangles and open it up and push this top corner up like this. Okay. Now this bit's kind of hard to yeah. describe so you kind of have to see it. Um, so it looks like a very long diamond. Yeah, a stretch diamond. So then it's open in the middle. Okay. And now you have to do the same on the other Turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> so open up the triangles and move this corner up to the top. Yeah, this is, this is a quite a tricky bit to get right. Again, speaking from past experience, yeah. I, I know I'm going to make a mess of this. <laughs> I don't know. As long as you make all the folds. Yes. Uh, Stay tuned for me yeah. making a mess. <laughs> okay, so now we have this shape. Perfect. It's like little legs. Yes, exactly. So you have the, the legs yeah. at the bottom <laughs> facing you. And you fold this corner into the middle again. Okay. 
I want to know how they came up with this. Who who was sitting there going? I know. This is definitely going to make a crane. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> that's so clever. And then uh, again, the same with the other side. Okay. So it looks like this on one side and like with all the we're others. We're going to turn it over. Let's do it on the other side. Okay. Okay, very good. So we're basically making it narrower. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're making the head and the tail. Oh. Okay. Okay, so now we have this shape and it's open at the bottom. Great. So now we're going to fold up the head. If you hold this side here, hold everything tight, and then we have to fold this long section up. Okay. And then when it's up, we squeeze it there at the bottom to put the fold in place to hold it. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, and now you have your head. Perfect. Okay, so, well, you have your head piece. Now, to define the head, flatten the section down a little bit. Okay. And the way I do it is I kind of fold it there slightly and just squeeze it to hold it. Okay. So I get so, you. I get yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. So now the tail is the same, but without having to... Do the, the definition bit for the head. Okay. So it's a bit easier. Okay. Like that, and then you can open up your eyes. That's beautiful. And there you have your crane. It's so nice. Hopefully it will stand up. Yeah. <laughs> they do stand up. They do, but the thing about, well, I suppose there's a number of different ways you could use these yeah. for your wedding. Like you could put them as the favor on place settings, like standing, or you can actually string them. Yeah, um, I love them stringed they're together. They're so pretty. Yeah. We actually have a photo from uh, Alicia Clark Photography. She's a wedding photographer and she has um, a photo which we'll be showing you um, of the stringed origami just um, in, a, in a ceremony room. And it's just it's just beautiful, so, so nice. So yeah. they're very versatile. And you know, you guys could get your friends together for a hen party. You can all yeah. sit down, just spend a few hours Probably making me. them. Yeah. yeah, exactly. The start cranes are probably gonna be better than the end ones if you're drinking but you know <laughs> you'll get a few good ones so <laughs> anyway it's a great way to add a, a special uh, touch to your to your wedding yeah. so um, thank you so much Okay, so now Leah's actually going to do this step-by-step step with me just because there are quite a lot of steps involved and like I said, you'll see where you might fall into some trouble. Yes. Hopefully we'll be able to help. So, okay. first thing is color side know. down. Okay, yes. and then I'm gonna see how much I remember. So I have to fold, okay. I have to fold uh, to make a big triangle and a nice defined line. There we go. And then I fold again. Yes. No, that's yeah. right. Yep, make a smaller triangle. Okay, and it's just moving across. Now, as you can see already, my lines are not as good as Leah's because there's a bit of white showing through, but um, you know, it's fine. It takes a bit of practice. Okay, so we have our little triangle. Yep. Now, what do so I do now? now? I have to make the diamond shape. Okay. So open up one of the triangles. Okay, so that's. See this I find very okay so we're gonna open it up like that yeah kind of and flatten it to the triangle okay. uh, sorry the diamond actually it's a, it's worth mentioning that um because we have tried this with lots of different types of paper and it is worth using the origami paper because it just it does fold significantly better now we're going to turn it over and open this one up and um, so uh, this one I always find harder because this bit wants to come away. So yeah. you hold that bit down while you're doing it. Okay. Okay. And I'm just finding, yeah, they're, they're kind of coming away. 
Come on, don't split. <laughs> Stay together. Stay together. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. It's not okay. perfect. It's not perfect, but it's not awful. And that's my, you know, that's a, I'm happy <laughs> if things aren't awful, basically. Okay, right. So we have our diamond and we have yep. the, the pieces yep. towards me. Okay. Open bits towards you. Yeah. So folding this corner into the middle. Okay, so this corner here into the middle. And we're kind of making those legs, aren't we? Yeah, start in the middle. And then I fold this corner in. Yeah. Okay. And already the cracks are starting to show. <laughs> I'm going to have a very bockety looking crane. <laughs> you can see guys, I'm, I'm really just doing this to illustrate how important it is to get your folds right, because okay. you can see mine aren't perfect. The so same on the other side. Yeah, fold that over. And then, okay, there we go. So now the small triangle at the top, we have to fold. Oh yes, we're going to fold it back and forth, isn't that right? Yeah. Um, just and to give it a bit more definition. And to make the next step easier, it really makes a difference. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay. So now brilliant. We open up the smaller triangle. Okay, great. On both sides? Or yeah, just one just at a time? One at a time. Okay. okay. So Getting ahead of myself. You, you open it up and this corner is folded up. Oh, this is the bit I hate. Okay, so we're trying to... What am I trying to do here? So, yeah, like that. Okay. That wasn't so bad. That seemed to want... It, it wanted to, to make this shape. Yeah. Okay. It does. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Again, my folds aren't perfect, but... You can see a bit of white there. But anyway, that's all right. That's okay. So we're gonna open it up again. Do the same. Okay, on the other side. So, just gently, gently trying to um, encourage the paper to fold the way I want it to fold. So I'm kind of pushing in on, um, pushing in on the folds just to get it to work. Okay, there we yep. go. Good stuff. So now we have the stretched diamond shape and we have the, the two legs. Yep. There we go. At the bottom facing Great. you. Great. So now we're folding this corner into the middle. Okay. So we're just making them that nice skinny little leggies. Exactly. And... And then same on the other side. Okay, so we turn it over. Okay, so now I'm just folding that in. Okay, and folding this side. Oh, no, it doesn't like me. <laughs> um, okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, all done. So, so now we have the, the legs at the bottom again. Okay, very good. So now we'll do the head. So if you put, open up that slightly, hold these tight. Okay, so we're hold. Now do I hold this bit tight as well? Or is it just this just side? Just hold this side. This side, yeah. okay, okay. Just like that, and then you can work on the other side. Okay, so I'm right. opening. And folding up like that. We need to hold that bit as well, just slightly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now you can squeeze it into position, like that. Okay, so we're kind of bending it. Yeah. Okay, Fold so folding it. it. Yeah. Okay. And then we have to bend. Yeah. And then we're going to kind of squeeze this squeeze bit. Squeeze it into shape to stay there. Okay. Eh, I did better than I thought I would. <laughs> there we go. And then fold up the tail. Okay, so we so turn it around. And... Uh, okay. So now you have the shape. Yeah. And then you can open up the wings. And you can give it a little, a little pull because then it will give you more. It's like a flamingo crane. <laughs> I think it's because of the colour. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, there you go. No, I made no, it. I made it. And it, it stood. Yeah. It did its thing. Oh my goodness, I'm actually 
super duper happy. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. I made one. <laughs> and it's standing. This went significantly better than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Leah. No problem. That was Thank awesome. Um, yeah, no, I'm so excited. Well, listen, guys, as you can see, you can do it. <laughs> and you can also see from my one, um, even though, you know, I wasn't perfect with my fold, it actually turned out pretty okay. Yeah. Although... It has character. It, it, it has character. <laughs> Although, Leah, who was more careful with her fold. This is significantly better so you know be more careful with your folds than i was but you know when everyone is starting out um for the first time yeah. you might have a few cranes that look like this but like i said they're just such a lovely little touch to add to a wedding they're so easy to do super cheap um so yeah give it a go um, and let us know how you get on if you do um well listen thank you very very much everyone for watching um we are going to be doing some more uh, videos we're trying to do two a month so um, please subscribe uh, give us a like give us a share and um, we'll see you next time thanks so much bye bye